everyone, welcome back to the Integrity Botanicals YouTube channel. Today I'm finally bringing you my review of the brand new Kierweiss Cream Shadows and of course the Cream Shadow Brush that launched with it. You guys will have already known about this release if you saw my What's New video if you haven't seen it. I'll link it down below, lots of good stuff. Um, but the Cream Shadows, how very exciting. I really like cream products personally, and today I'm going to share my thoughts about this collection with you. So first off, the inspiration behind this. The second I heard this, I was so right there with it. The inspiration behind this collection is actually the 70s in New York City, Studio 54. So these are meant to be very sensual, sexy type of shades, and I think they did a great job at that. You could totally see the 70s reflected in this. You could totally see Studio 54. They have an ease to them, and I think when it looks effortless, I think that is one of the most sexy looks that you can achieve. Um, and I am going to show you the super mega quick eye look that I have on today so you guys can see um, what I'm talking about. Um, so inside the ingredients, just a few, are the beautiful oil, coconut oil, um, a lot of similar oils that are in their other products. Um, but the formulation is slightly refined. So you're gonna know that they have so many cream products in the line, cream foundation, blushes, lip tints, things like this, all of the cream variety, but this formulation is much more refined. So this formulation is gonna be a lot more firm to the touch, which you will notice and I will get into in just a little bit. First up, I wanted to talk about packaging. Packaging of this product, you might think it is the same size as the powders, it is not. It is quite a bit bigger, and the pan size um, reflects that for both the refill and the actual refill itself. Much bigger, which I appreciate, just because I think cream products dissipate much more quickly than a powder shadow. Despite how much I use the powder shadows, I actually haven't hit pan on one yet. So I am gonna hold them side by side so you can see the comparison, but the style of them ex is exactly the same. They do also have the hole in the back so you could sort of pop that product right out, and it's nice and easy for you to use. This does come in four different shades and a brush. So let's run through those shades. We'll talk a little about formula and I'll show you how I like to apply them. So first up, let's start with the shimmering shades. The one that I'm wearing today and my most favorite is the shade Alluring. Alluring is this beautiful bronze tone that has a very, very high gold shine to it. But at the end of the day, it is a very true bronze shade that picks up the light just beautifully. Super, super stunning. Another beautiful one and tied for my favorite is the shade Gorgeous and man, is it gorgeous? It's just a plummy, taupey, lilac-y, golden type of shade. I don't even know how, how to quite describe it. It just, again, is really, really easy, universally flattering, beautiful tone. Then, with that 70s inspiration, we do have two jewel tones incorporated into the collection, the first of which is Sublime, and Sublime is this beautiful, rich, dark green shade. Definitely very dramatic. Um, but used as a liner, it can be quite wearable. And then we also have the shade Enticing, which I think makes a great smoky shadow base or liner base or just liner in general. And it is this rich, very, very deep cobalt blue, but it's not blackened in any way. You could definitely tell that it's a blue shade, which I really, really appreciate. The brush, I'll share that with you guys really quick. Beautiful white fair, I mean handle as always. Nice long ferrule, and you can see the brush here is of this dome shape. Synthetic fibers as always, really, really high quality. and has quite a bit of give to it, yet it's stiff enough to work into the pan, which you guys will see when I'm applying it. The beauty of this brush is that it is not only um, confined to cream shadow use, since it is a synthetic bristle, that means it could be used in cream and powder. I even think this would work for concealer or something like that, but I can also see you doing a little bit of detail work with this brush in the crease because of that nice dome shape that lends itself to blending. As far as applying these, I really do think that I like it best applied with a brush, but you can, of course, apply it with your finger. Something to keep in mind, due to the more firm texture of these, which was intense, intentional, it's sort of to stop the product from moving around so much on the eyes. Like, of course, you could take a Kierweiss cream blush and put it all over your eyes. You could take the bronzer, put it all over your eyes, but it's much more thin, it's much more creamy, it moves around a lot more. So these, you sort of need warmth from your finger or the pressure of the brush to sort of work into it. So at first, you're gonna, it's gonna take you a minute, but then it will soften up as your finger warms it up. The, the swatches that I'm gonna do, I am gonna try to do with the brush if possible, if I can get it clean enough 
to do with every swatch and I will make a note of that if that is the case but definitely something to keep in mind um, so like I said they did the stiffness to add to the wear time of the shadows but are these long lasting shadows well I'm going to tell you guys is this an all night wearing shadow it's definitely not and they are marketed as only really being four to five hour wear shadow now I think when you apply it by itself nothing no powder no nothing I think it can crease relatively quickly within the hour um, but when you apply it on top of a shadow which is what I have done today that will absolutely increase the longevity of it but they are still not going to last all day long please do keep in mind though I have quite hooded eyelids which means when I'm looking at you guys you really don't see um, you see a little bit of my eyelid you can see how much of it is actually tucked away into my crease there so you really don't see my crease when I'm looking straight up at you I have quite a strong brow so most cream products I really haven't met one as far as natural products that last all day on me but the formula of these is so great because you could just really easily tap it out which I think is great. So if you're out and you want to throw this on, just tap it on. I think these are great for a sort of day to night makeup look. So if you already have a powder shadow on, you could go in with your finger or with the cream shadow brush that you threw in your makeup bag and tap it on top. I like the layering process the best because I think it will give you that depth. It will give you that richness. It will give you that sheen sort of that you were looking for, which I really, really like. As always with Cure Weiss products, these are non-irritating because they are very natural. Please do take a look at the ingredients list though to make sure everything is great with you. Like I said, there is coconut oil, um, which is always in Cure Weiss products for the most part. And finally, um, they are refillable, which I love. And if you're not familiar with Cure Weiss products, that is something that you can look forward to with all of them. So you will pay once for this beautiful sort of compact here. And then you do have the option of buying refills to put right in here. The refill won't look like this, I don't believe. This is just a tester I have. But just an example for you guys, there's a hole on the back that I already mentioned to pop the shadow out and place your cream back in. For cream products, I'm not gonna lie to you, the same with blushes. I would recommend buying it in the compact. That way you could just ensure your product is not drying out and it also looks the most beautiful. So that is really it, you guys. I really just wanted to share with you that these are not all day wearing products, but I do still really like them. And who do I think these products are for? Well, people that are on the go, people who are looking for day to night makeup, um, moms who are really busy and want something quick and easy, people who are do not mind if they need to sort of tap the creases out in their shadow. Ultimately, I think they're still very easy with that being said. Just am I going to wear this to a 10 hour shift at work? Mm, probably not going to be my first pick, but I love how it's looking right now. I love the looks that I can achieve, especially for a more daytime appropriate look. Um, but like I said, they're so easy to just tap out that I wouldn't mind wearing it out either if I had a really solid base going and I just want a little bit on the eyes because specifically the two shimmering shades I think make the most beautiful shiny toppers onto a corresponding shade. This shade here, Gorgeous, is actually said to be like the cream sister of wisdom. So those pair really, really beautifully if you already have that powder shade from Cure Weiss. I used a Sappho shade today, but I'm going to stop talking about it and I'm going to get into the demo. But I did want to say I probably won't be wearing the green or the blue on their own but as liners I think they're a lot of fun or maybe even underneath the lash line um, let me know if you want to see a tutorial featuring that but really quickly I'm gonna get into the demo of how I like to apply these and how that depth really builds up very very effortlessly and quickly this eye look took me two minutes tops and I just want to share it with you guys so stay tuned all right so this isn't an eyeshadow tutorial or anything like that maybe I will do that in a separate video if you guys are curious I just sort of wanted you guys to see how these shadows sit on the lids, how they apply with a brush, my favorite way to apply them, etc. So I'm just gonna go in with the flat packer brush and I'm going to go in with the Sappho shadow. This is in the shade Norma. Um, this is a complementary color to what I'm gonna be putting on top of it. So I'm just going to very lightly apply this all the way across the eyelid and then I'm just going to buff out the edges and this could be any color you'd like. It can be a more neutral shade as well. I just like doing this because I think it's going to get the most depth out of the color that I'm going to follow up with. 
um, which is the cream shadow from Care Weiss. Okay. So the shade I'm going to be using today is the shade Alluring, and you can see I just buffed it out. It's really, really light, just a base for this to stick onto. And I'm going with none other than the Care Weiss cream shadow brush. I do find that I like applying it with a brush more than my fingertips, but that is all you. It of course does not need to be this brush, but I just so happen to like the way this brush applies the product. So I'm really loading it up because I want it to go on um, nice and even and in one swoop if possible. And I am just going to dab this on top. And you can see I'm sort of pressing and pulling just because I want it to be on there nice and tightly packed so it's not, I'm not I don't want to shear out the color at all. That's not the point. And then I also want to do a bit of blending with this pulling motion here. And I want it to be thin but not sheer because I want to minimize the creasing. So I don't want to overload on product that's just not necessary. So I'm kind of tapping it up into my crease. I want it to be that sort of messy look that is, you know, the inspiration sake of this product. So we're just doing like that. I could go in and blend the brow bone, but that's what we're going to do for now. So I really just want you guys to see the depth that you can get through this layering process and that beautiful shine that this gives up close. Love it. Then just to show you guys another use of this product um, that I think is really great and makes it multi-purpose, which I always love. I'm going in with the dark blue shade. This is enticing. And the Cure Weiss Angle Brush is the nice long one, so you can be pretty easy with it. And again, I'm loading up the brush on both sides the same way I would any other product, powder or cream. And I'm just going to nestle this right into the root of the lash. I love this dark blue shade. The cream makes it really easy to apply. Um, gives it that nice rich color and it also um, is just I love that it's blue because it gives a definition that a black would but it's a little bit more interesting especially paired with that copper tone. So that's it you guys I just wanted you to see quickly how easy it is to achieve a dimensional eye look. I'm going to go in with the Well People Blue Mascara just to sort of accentuate that color I did there and I'm also going to take the Sappho shadow and Laura underneath the eyes but I'll have more details down below. I just wanted to see you guys how easy this is and the sort of look that you can achieve very very instantly with the new Cure Weiss Cream Shadows. All right, you guys, that is it. That is my really quick review of the Cure Weiss Cream Shadows. I think I broke down everything as concisely as possible. Like that being said, if I left anything out, anything you're dying to know, please do let me know in the comment section down below. I will definitely get back to you guys because I know these are a hot product right now and I'm sure you guys have a lot of questions. Um, but most importantly, I will include a swatch photo of all the shades down below so you can find the shade that's best for you. I highly recommend Gorgeous and Alluring, especially for everyday hits. But um, that is it, you guys. Any questions, comments, like I said, down below. Our social media is always down below. And I will have a link so you could shop these products right here, right now, down below as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please feel free to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. I upload videos here twice weekly, and I don't want you guys to miss them. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.